Should I get a fistula? A patient education video from Lake Ridge Health. What is a fistula? Everybody's body has two sets of pipes in them. The high pressure pipes that take the blood from the heart out to, for instance, the hand, and then the veins that take the blood back to the heart. A fistula is something we create in the operating room, pretty short procedure, where we hook a vein directly into an artery. And what that does is send a whole lot of blood up that vein, more than it's used to. And what we hope to have happen is for that vein to get bigger over time, over the course of a couple of months. Uh, hopefully as big as my finger or even bigger than that with a lot of blood going through it and you'll actually actually be able to feel the blood going through it if it's working well. To have hemodialysis we have to have some way to get patient's blood out of them. To go through a machine to be cleansed and then to be delivered back into the patient. And that requires access somehow to your bloodstream to get this blood moving out in, in quite a volume. And so there are a couple of options to do that. One is a fistula. The second is a plastic tube that's put in the neck. It's a permanent or semi-permanent plastic tube that exits the skin so you'll have a tube hanging out of you. Uh, but that's another way that we can access the bloodstream, get the blood out, and put it back in, but have it cleansed in the machine. My line works just fine. Why should I change to a fistula? I started dialysis in 1990, and I was in dialysis for four years. And then I, ha I got a kidney transplant, and that lasted until April of 2008 and I've been back in dialysis the second time around. I started with a line, and then I eventually got a fistula, and I've seen people that have had problems with the lines, and I personally think there's, there's no alternative for a fistula, because you, you basically, you, you just have your needles and that's it. I was skeptical at first, like, you know, kind of a little scared and everything, but uh, it wasn't nothing, really, you know. And, um, and I run better on it, you know, I get more clearance and everything. Plus, I was in the hospital once because of my line, I got an infection. And uh, it's, not a, it's not a pretty thing to have. I think official is a lot better, you know. Did you know? On average, patients who dialyze with a catheter are more likely to get a vascular access related infection than patients using a fistula for dialysis. There is always a risk of infection because you have a plastic tube hanging out of the skin. There is a risk of blood clots either in the catheter or around the catheter inside you. And a little much more dangerous and something the patient is not aware of is that the plastic tube which is sitting up in the chest, in a big vein in the chest, can irritate that vein and cause it to narrow over time. It can prove to be a big problem for future access uh, as time goes on and can really limit our options as to how to get blood out of you and through the machine. The fistula on the other hand is uh, fussier in the beginning, uh, but then as time goes on it actually can have fewer problems and certainly fewer serious problems. It also can give a better cleansing of the blood if it's a well-functioning fistula. Will it hurt to have a fistula? I've been on dialysis four months. I listened to all the information regarding the options and for me um, I like to swim to keep fit and so on, so I needed to know that I could do that, even with the fistula, like, rather than having a tube. And uh, that seemed to me the best for me. And that was very painless, <laughs> really. It was over very quickly. 
The nurses all told me what a beautiful fistula I had, so I thought, well, okay, that's good. I've been on dialysis almost 13 years. So they came to me and asked me if I wanted to have the line or the fistula. And I told them that I would rather have a fistula. I try not to talk about it too much because I don't want to jinx it. Yeah. <laughs> but it works very well. I, with the buttonholes, they go in the same place. I don't feel a thing. Did you know? Getting a fistula is a simple outpatient procedure performed with a local anesthetic. That procedure takes about 15 minutes in the operating room, but we do just use local anesthesia, so freezing like the dentist would give you, not a full anesthetic, uh, which is good because you recover quickly and can go home the same day. And then you just have a little band-aid on here, that's it, not a big issue. And we follow it up, uh, you're seen in the clinic over the course of the next uh, couple of weeks and then followed every time you have dialysis or in the pre-dialysis clinic. How will a fistula affect my quality of life? You're freer with a fistula than you are with the line. If you have a line, you got to cover it up all the time. You can't have a shower. You can't get in the bathtub really good. And with the fistula, you can do all that. I was always worried about the thing pulling out or they you know. I got grandkids and they like going to the beach, eh? So they want grandpa in the water too. Right? <laughs> I find it that you've really got to adapt your life to uh, to the line. Some people have the their their fist was getting real big. I've never had that problem because I've got really small veins, but uh, with the buttonholes, there's none of that. Not many people have a big fistula like I do. I always have to wear a long sleeve shirt, but hey, if it works, it works. I'm, it's keeping me alive, so. Did you know? Patients who use a fistula report greater physical activity, energy, and emotional and social well-being. Uh, the fistula really has very few restrictions associated with it. It's life as usual. You can use the hand. You can work with it. Uh, in fact, we encourage exercise with the hand uh, where a fistula is. Rarely we do have to take some precautions if somebody is working next to sharp machinery. Uh, but that's really quite rare. If I have a fistula, will I bleed after dialysis or at home? Um, I, I seem to be able to clot within about five to seven minutes now. So again, it's gotten easier. It took longer at the beginning, but they gave me supplies to have with me at the hospital and, and also for at home, So, but I haven't had to use them. I've, uh, I usually hold it for 10 minutes then I get bandaged and I usually don't take off the bandages for about for about three and a half to four hours. I've never had a problem with it. Did you know a fistula is the best decision for hemodialysis access? There are pluses and minuses or advantages and disadvantages to both methods. The fistula over time can become quite large to some patients this is unsightly, to the dialysis nurses and to the doctors it's a thing of beauty because it means it's working well, usually quite easy to use, uh, but occasionally it can get too big and every once in a while we have to fix somebody who's gotten, whose fistula has gotten too big. So the catheter might be appropriate uh, for some patients. Uh, and a fistula might clearly be the way to go in other patients. But as a general rule, we want to do a fistula in as many patients as possible. I've talked to some of the patients in the waiting room, and some of them refuse to get a fistula, and I can't understand why. I guess everybody has their own opinion. I know I, I've, I had, before I even had the surgery, there was a lady in the waiting room one day, and she said, oh no, you should have a tube in your stomach. And I said, you know what, 
for me, that wouldn't work. And I think it's an individual choice. People have to uh, get the, all the information they can and uh, whatever works best for them and for my lifestyle, this is what it was. Contact your kidney doctor or nurse for more information.